you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 20th wednesday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel 3 verses 1 to 6 again he entered the synagogue and a man was there who had a withered hand they watched him to see whether he would cure him on the sabbath so that they might accuse him and he said to the man who had a withered hand come forward then he said to them is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the sabbath to save life or to kill but they were silent he looked around at them with anger he was grieved at their hardness of heart and said to the man stretch out your hand he stretched it out and his hand was restored the pharisees went out and immediately conspired with the herodians against him how to destroy him the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ my dear friends once again we see jesus in confrontation with the religious leaders it follows the same pattern as between before between him and his critics he is simply referred to as they it is quite clear who they are the scene is in the local synagogue once again they were looking for evidence with which to convict jesus they were watching to see if jesus could cure a man with the other hand on sabbath day there is every li- likelihood that the man was planted in what the americans call a setup to use a sick person in this way was really despicable there is no doubt that jesus is fully aware of what is happening unhesitatingly he tells a man to come for stand in the middle of the assembly then he puts his question is it against the law on the sabbath day to do good or to do evil to save life or to be kill his opponents are reduced to silence they have neither the honesty nor the integrity to give the obvious answer to the question in another example of how jesus shows his feeling he told that he was both grieved and angry at their their stubborn attitude grieved because their attitude was so inappropriate for people who believed they were close to god angry because of the terrible injustice they were prepared to impose on this man in their book no suffering justified breaking the law but for jesus it is not a matter of keeping or breaking laws but of doing good he tells the man to stretch out his wither arm and it is completely cured the story once again highlights the difference between morality and law it was against the law to do healing work on the sabbath this was because in normal circumstances the attention of a doctor might involve extensive treatment but here the healing is done in a moment can it be called work can be seen as a violation of the spirit of the sabbath day the law about the healing on the sabbath had good intentions was part of the observance of the lord's day but it was being absolutely est by the pharisees it is a tendency in our christian life which we must also avoid even the law about being at mass on sunday can be absolutized sometimes there are pressing needs example the care of the sick person or a child which can override the law about sunday mass amen may god bless us